devoted themselves steadfastly to prayer. So this is the kind of meeting that we're having. So the first meeting recorded in the church, the Acts of the Apostles, glory to God, is a prayer meeting. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't you love it? First things first. So they devoted themselves to prayer, waiting together with the women, that was smart, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. First smart action of the leaders was we better get the women in here. But wouldn't you hate to be one of those guys after the 10 days and on the day of Pentecost said, you know, man, this meeting, 10 days, my goodness, it's long. I'm tired. I tell you, if they preach one more, if they pray one more time, Lord, you know, I want to pray. You know, I do. I love you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. But Lord, I've just got so much to do. Wouldn't you hate to be that guy and get the report of what happened in Acts chapter 2? Wouldn't you hate to be the one that missed the assembling of themselves together on that day? Praise the Lord. And what happened? One united mind to God, they began to pray and they lifted up their prayers. Well, the prayer is awesome. So here we have another prayer meeting. What's happening? Prayer, they're come together in a meeting. They pray results. And then the meetings go along, and then there's prayer and a meeting and results. And they, the meetings continue in the stream of those results. So you see these small groups, the group that you influence, when those groups would come together, then this bigger meeting would have such impact over everyone. They all brought their supply to the big meeting, and the big meeting, God does something really big. Everybody leaves the big meeting on the level that that the meeting ends on, but they take that level back to their homes, back to their small groups, back to their prayer groups, back to their little groups, back to their churches. And I don't care how big your church is, it's still small in comparison to the whole. And so you take that back to that smaller group and what happened? You go back into that on the level you came out of that meeting, well, then all the small groups come up. And so all the groups are feeding in faith and they're going back and forth. And what happens in that, the whole thing then, we get together again and everything comes up. Watch this now, watch this happen. So they're in prayer and they go then, verse 31, when they prayed, the place was shaken. Now the very building is getting involved in the meeting. Every element, the place was shaken. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Why did they have to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Was it because they'd been watching too much television? Do you think they had backslid? No, my goodness, no. What had happened to them? Their capacity had increased. Their capacity, they were the, having that same amount of the Holy Spirit at work in them, no longer filled them because they had expanded. They had grown. They had increased. They've seen no more, known more, prayed more, studied more. And so God filled them with the Holy Spirit, but it doesn't end there. It says they were filled with the Spirit and they continued to speak the Word of God with freedom, boldness, and courage. 